hi guys hi beautiful people you're welcome back to my youtube channel it's happy crystal here and it's good to be back on my channel if you're coming across my channel for the very first time you're highly welcome if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome back as well so today's video is going to be another edition of a bunch of pageant gist and i have a lot to discuss with you guys here on this particular edition okay so don't touch that down keep on watching In this edition, I'm going to be introducing the new Mr. World Nigeria. You guys remember that I did a prediction video not too long ago on my channel where I introduced, where I talked about, um, you know, my top five favorites for Mr. World Nigeria. In this particular video, I'm going to be telling you guys that we have a new winner for Mr. World Nigeria. And it's no other person than contestant number 10, Mazi Michael. Yes, he won the pageant that was held last Sunday. And I'll tell you guys that that, that pageant was something else. But... Anyway, I'm, I'll be right. So guys, over the weekend, we crowned a new Mr. World Nigeria and also we crowned Mr. Supernational Nigeria, okay? So, like I said, um, Mr. World Nigeria is going to present Nigeria in um, Mr. World in Vietnam later this year. And we also crowned Mr. Supernational Nigeria who will be going on to um, um, Poland next year to represent the country, okay? So now we, are, we have our patent is now complete. At least we have... Mr. Supernational and Miss Supernational, okay? So, yes, he's going to be joining Paula Ezendu um, into Poland next year. And he's no other person than contestant number eight, Oguchuku Wokulu. Yes, he won Mr. Supernational in Nigeria, which I will say that, you know, a lot of persons were not seeing that coming because they felt like, you know, uh, contestant number nine ought to have won that particular position. But, you know, Silver Bed now with all their... I don't even understand how it went, but I think that would link the video of that particular pageant down in my description box so you guys can watch and see how the pageant you know unfolded um so far so good the pageant was very interesting you know this was my first male pageant that i watched i won't tell you like like this is the first pageant that i actually followed here on my channel male pageantry yes i followed you on my channel and i'll tell you guys that i really enjoyed the whole thing it was very funny it was very fun and you know i got to see a lot more than you know that doesn't really happen in the female pageant um it was very very fun to watch i really enjoyed the whole pageant please if you guys are interested in watching that particular pageant check my description box for the entire video because i don't want to talk much about the particular pageant you know anyway yeah so that's it for this particular gist and i would say that you know nigeria has you know um crowned all their representatives to the various male pageants okay i'll put it on the screen for you guys to see the other representatives that we have that are going to other pageants you know that are being slated for different uh, host cities later this year okay so yeah let's keep our fingers crossed and i wish them all the best of luck so during the week miss globe international pageant was held and the finals were held and unfortunately nigeria did not make the court uh, but i would say that it's so unfortunate i didn't follow the pageant because to me it's not really a clan slam, clan clan oh is it grand okay sorry it's not really a grand slam pageant okay so i don't really cover that particular pageant here on my channel i don't know why but I think that going forward, I will try. But I would say that Nigeria representative had a, lot, a short time to prepare. So I wasn't really expecting her to place, you know, given the fact that, you know, she just had just barely two few weeks or three or four, one month to prepare. And I felt like it's not enough, you know, for the pageant that, you know, Nigeria has not really been consistent. You know, we've not really had, uh, I don't know, I don't know, we've not really been, you know, consistent to the franchise of that particular pageant so i would say that you know lack of preparations and um a low lot actually mad her you know her performance in uh, in albania i think that was the host country for the miss globe all right so she didn't really place and i would say that you know um good luck nigeria next going forward miss ara international was actually crowned i think last night or so if i'm not mistaken and nigeria made it to the top 20 and i would say that congratulations to nigeria on this one at least we actually made the top 20 and i would say that you know our representative joy oranizi she did a very good job and so far so good i would say that aura is a pageant that you know i'm not i've not really followed here on my channel you know for some reasons best known to me i don't know why because it's not really a grand grand a grand slam pageant like miss globe as well but i think that going forward i will try as much as possible to cover this pageant because i feel like there's a lot you know i need to you know cover here on my channel um 
Miss Oral Nigeria actually made it to the top 20 and also the other African countries that actually made it as well. Ghana made it to the top 20, South Africa made it to the top 20 and, again, and Ghana actually um, got to the fourth runner-up position which is very good for Africa. So I would say congratulations to Ghana, congratulations to South Africa and also congratulations to Nigeria because at least we made the top 20 and I'm happy about that, I'm glad about that, all right? So, yeah, that's all for Miss Aura International. All right, so going forward on this edition, um, Miss Cham International, yes, Miss Cham International released a statement this week that they will be holding the pageant um, in Vietnam um, later in December. I don't think they fixed the date yet, but they said the, cha the, the pageant will be holding in Vietnam and it will be in December. So you guys know that, you know, I talked about our representative for Miss Cham, which is, um, which is also um, you know, she's not new, she's not a new face on this my channel, I've talked about her before, and she was Nigeria's representative to Miss Universe in the year 2022, um, Hannah Iwi yes, she is going to represent Nigeria in Miss Charm, and yeah, so far so good, she has a lot of my time to prepare for the pageant, I think she was crowned sometime in August or so, um, yeah, so I think that, you know, she had a lot of time to prepare, so I wish her the best in Miss Charm, and you guys know now, I'm going to be following her journey on my channel, so guys, yeah, let's, you know, look forward to the Miss Chan pageant holding in Vietnam in December. So I wish Hannah and you all the best in her preparations and I hope that by now she should be, you know, putting finishing touches and, you know, getting ready to, um, you know, represent the country and give us our first placement, okay? Also going forward, uh, Miss Ed Nigeria Shantel Izomo has left the shores of Nigeria to the Philippines for this year's Miss Ed 2024 contest. Um, yeah, so she just left the shores of Nigeria and um, I wish her the best of luck and you know Miss Ed is coming up sometime next month So of course you guys know I'm going to be following her journey here on my channel as usual So all the best to Chantel as she, fly, as she flies the Nigerian flag up high in this year's Miss Ed uh, competition Okay, so let's see what happens. I wish her all the best of luck Look. Yeah, guys, so going forward again, yeah, we are almost getting close to the <laughs> to the end of this particular edition, but I won't end this particular edition without talking about the mass latest uh, photo shoot, which was released uh, sometime, you know, in the week, and I would say that, you know, the photo shoot was, you know, um, I would not say that it was underwhelming or something, but I feel like, uh, I felt like, you know, she needed to do more in this particular photo shoot, but so far so good, she just released the snippets of her photo shoot and um, we've not really seen the main pictures or you know the main video or the pictures of the photo shoot the official the official pictures of the photo shoot she was just showing us the intro video to her photo shoot and i would say that you know so far so good she's preparing towards mexico and very soon she should be leaving for mexico because i can see the other african queens living already like uh, congo and um, some other countries have started leaving for Mexico, so I feel like by now Chidema should be preparing to leave Nigeria for Mexico. So let's see what happens within this the space of this two weeks or less than two weeks that she has. Let's see what she has in store for us because I told you guys that she was going to be releasing a lot of photo shoot, a lot of official photo shoot pictures because as it is right now, I don't think her official picture has been uploaded to the Miss Universe um, website. I can see the other countries have started uploading their official foot, uh, official portraits on the Miss Universe website, but up to now, Chidema hasn't posted any official photos, and I'll say, I don't know what is happening, like seriously, you know, I was, that's what I'm saying, you know, this five wicked approach is not good for pageantry here in Nigeria. I think that, you know, going forward, we need to, you know, do things the way, uh, the time that it ought to be done. You know, so far, so good. Other African countries have posted their official portraits, and Nigeria is yet to post, so I don't know what is happening. So. Let's see what happens, maybe probably before, you know, uh, the pageant starts, her official portrait will be uploaded, okay? So let's keep our fingers crossed. Finally, on this edition of A Bunch of Pageantists, Miss Grand Nigeria, in the person of Rosalind Oji, um, you know, they've ha they had their closed-door interview today, and, you know, I had the opportunity of watching the whole thing before I did very well yes yeah, she did very well um i would say that you know let's see what happens because um I, I i think that you know she did what she ought to do in this closed door interview um the questions that were asked she was able to deliver um although there was some stuttering here and there but i feel like you know she 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 just you know 
delivered the valid points that she had to deliver and for you guys that have not watched that particular in closed door interview please go and watch it and i don't know if i can you know post it here because of copyright i don't know if it's possible for me to post it here but if not possible for me please go and watch uh, mr miss grant miss grant nigeria's um closed door interview she really did she really did her best she did you know she did overall she did well in that uh, closed door interview and i wish that i pray and hope that she makes the top 10 okay that's my prayer because nigeria is making the top 20 for like uh two years in a row or three years in a row i feel like you know it's high time we break into the top 10 so let's see what Rosalind can offer in this year's competition and i wish her the best of luck uh, maybe probably i would uh schedule a live stream talking about it later later today or later or tomorrow tomorrow is sunday of course i will try and if that's if i upload this video today if i don't upload it today maybe tomorrow i don't know let's see how it goes but of course sunday is my live stream day i will talk about it. i will schedule the live stream and talk about you know her performance in the closed door interview um it was actually filmed you know it was filmed and it was shown to the general public okay so i don't think this is closed door anymore it's not closed door because almost everyone like it was filmed and showcased to everyone so i won't i won't say it's a closed door interview so anyway um i'll talk about it in my live stream okay happening this sunday all right so you guys should just stay tuned for that particular live stream all right so we've come to the end of this so guys we've come to the end of this particular edition of a bunch of pageant gist if you like this video if you like my content please like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video coming up very very soon